King Guardian In a kingdom nestled within rolling hills and lush forests, there stood a magnificent palace adorned with golden domes and shimmering spires. At the heart of the palace, surrounded by a vibrant garden, lay a tree unlike any other, a talking tree, its leaves glistening like emeralds and its bark as golden as the sun. The sun cast a warm glow over the royal garden as King Alexander strolled leisurely among the blooming flowers and fragrant herbs. Birds chirped joyfully, and a gentle breeze rustled through the leaves of the golden tree. What a marvel you are, my golden guardian. Your beauty knows no bounds. Thank you, your majesty. It is my honor to stand watch over your kingdom. Unbeknownst to the king, danger lurked nearby. A venomous serpent, its scales shimmering like liquid silver, slithered through the underbrush, its eyes fixed on its unsuspecting prey. Ah, what a perfect spot to rest and ponder. Your Majesty, beware. A serpent approaches with ill intent. What? Where? There, beneath the bushes. Qu quick, take heed. With lightning speed, the king sprang to his feet, just as the serpent lunged forward, its fangs bared for the strike. With a deft movement, King Alexander drew his sword and struck down the creature, saving himself from its deadly venom. By the gods, that was close. How did you know, my friend? I have watched over you for many years, your majesty. It is my duty to protect you from harm. Days turned into weeks, and a shadow fell over the royal garden as the golden tree began to wither and fade. Its leaves drooped, and its once vibrant branches sagged with sorrow. What ails you, dear tree? Speak to me, so I may help ease your suffering. My roots grow weak, and my strength wanes. I fear my time in this world draws to a close. No, I will not let you fade away. I will do everything in my power to save you. With tender hands and a loving heart, King Alexander tended to the golden tree day and night. He watered its roots with pure spring water, sang soothing melodies to ease its pain, and whispered words of encouragement into the gentle breeze. Hold on, my friend. Do not give up hope. Together, we will overcome this trial. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your kindness sustains me more than you know. As days turned into weeks, a miracle unfolded before their eyes. The golden tree's leaves regained their luster, and its branches stretched towards the sky with renewed vitality. The garden bloomed with newfound life, as if celebrating the tree's miraculous recovery. Look, my friend, you are reborn, stronger than ever before. Indeed, Your Majesty. Your unwavering faith and love have brought me back from the brink. In the heart of the royal garden, amidst the vibrant colors and melodious songs of nature, King Alexander and the Golden Tree shared a moment of profound understanding. You have taught me a valuable lesson, my friend. True strength lies not in power or might, but in compassion and care for those in need. Indeed, Your Majesty. A kingdom flourishes not only through the deeds of its ruler, but through the kindness and empathy shared among its people and its guardians. And so, the golden tree continued to stand tall and proud in the royal garden, a symbol of resilience and hope for generations to come. And King Alexander ruled with compassion and wisdom, guided by the lessons learned beneath the branches of the guardian tree.